Greg Zerline now. He'll handle the honors to get us started. And we are underway here in London. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by the guy under center, Charles, their quarterback. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do, lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Come on, let's go. A big connection on that one. 31 yards. One of the things that led this organization to commit to him as a starting quarterback as a rookie, his ability to keep his eyes downfield and make plays out of the pocket, able to see the receiver while on the move and complete a really accurate throw. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They'll look to throw. And he fires one incomplete. He's a little trigger happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll set up a throw, rolling to his right. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Looking to throw. Open man left side, it's the tight end Trimble. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 14. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed. And on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. Touchdown, Panthers. Tommy Trimble, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Panthers take it right down and score on the opening drive. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And a short kick taking it about the 16. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Michael Carter. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. Wilson's throw here into the hands of Moore. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. 
An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. Now the Jets send on Braden Mann to punt. Back deep here, Andre Roberts. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. This is McCaffrey on the give. Call it no gain on the play and it'll be second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature at the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. The throw over the middle, taken in. Room here to run. The 40. The 20. Touchdown, Carolina. DJ Moore. Excellent work there to get in on the touchdown run. And the Panthers strike quickly here for six points. Well, we know that he can beat you in a number of ways. He can catch it short, he can take it long, or he can do what we just saw right there, catch it, and then run with the football. And that should serve as a big warning to this defense. They know now that they have to stick close to these receivers because they have the ability to break games wide open after the catch, and that one wound up in the end zone. And the next-gen stats show us the tale of how much yardage he was able to tack on after the catch. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Pretty clean and simple there. Just two plays. The long pass resulting in the touchdown on play number two. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And a short kick taken at about the 16. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They find themselves in a good size hole here and a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now Carter to start the drive and he'll just plow right into a host of tacklers. Nothing there at all and it'll be second and 10. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. On the counter, Carter. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. <laughs> 13 nothing is the score after one on EA Sports. The Jets with the football here to start the second quarter as they've got it with a third down coming up. Wilson. Open man is Uzama. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a big play that time by the Jets. This offense has been slow to get started, but that play will certainly give them a little bit of life. Maybe the late wake-up call that they had been seeking. They'll throw on first down with Wilson. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. Good job, D. And maybe that one caused by the weather. Of course, the rain coming down. Charles, can you maybe, when you're carrying that football, grip it too tight in the rain? I think that you can, and it's such a delicate balance, too, because when you grip it so tight, sometimes it'll slip out from your body. You squeeze it too hard, and it'll pop out on its own. I've actually had running backs talk to me about that, that when they've tried too hard, even in perfect conditions, the ball gets away from them. They've got to find that good balance, carrying it firmly, yet at the same time under control. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. 
Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And down to the 44, five yards that time. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flush to his right. This pass complete to Higgins. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Back to throw. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. A big play there for Come Carolina. On, in our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside, and he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. Gonzalez to add the PAT. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. So the drive there took six plays, and the end result, a Panthers touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken just shy of the 10. And he takes it all the way across the 40 before going out of bounds. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. New York's offense back out there and set to go. And last time, the turnover on the fumble. And they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they thought they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that bad taste out of their mouth here? We remind you that coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will be alongside. He'll have highlights and analysis from Orlando of this first half of action. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Throwing is Wilson. Toward the sideline. Did he keep the feet in? Yes, he got them both down, says the side judge. And that's good enough for a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Here's Wilson to throw. 
It's caught by Davis. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Only needing two yards on second down. Throwing again here, Wilson. Caught by Wilson. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. First red zone opportunity now for the Jets. They have a first and 10 at the 13-yard line. Now it's Wilson. And this is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. To throw once more on second and 10, Wilson drops it off for Coleman. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. Got an open man, that's C.J. Uzama. And he will not be able to get the first as he can get this only down to the five. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Zerline's kick is up and through. And that will move the deficit from 20 down to 17. So three drives now for this offense, and that field goal gives them their first three points. So if you're an offensive coordinator and you're averaging a point a drive, you're in the wrong lot of work, aren't you? <laughs> you got to find a way to yeah. unlock the key to these defenses and put some big points on the board. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And how about the start so far, Charles? Three first-half touchdown passes. And that's how you generate excitement on a team, keep your offense moving at a really high level, and it's also how you establish leadership by playing that well. There he goes, right, right side. Baby. Now the ball comes loose, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. That's what we do. Other way, let's go. All these years we've been watching the game, I start to get the sense that whenever it rains out, those guys who have to touch the ball and carry it, they're extremely resentful about that weather. Yeah, I'm just happy I'm not resentful that we have a roof over our heads. I know that much. Yeah, maybe we won't fumble our play sheets here <laughs> as we just saw the fumble happen on the field. Going to look deep for Wilson. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Wilson. That's caught by his tight end, Uzama. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. To throw is Wilson. And that is incomplete, seven seconds remaining. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you got to hit. He's wide open right there got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. He'll get this to Coleman, and he is out of bounds inside the 30. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. As they say here in London, all to play for as we are back underway in the second half. Fielded right around the eighth. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. 
Yeah, this is going to put him back with a not great field position. So they really got zero benefit at all, right? Sometimes you can absorb a penalty when you get a big return. Then the penalty brings it back, but you still have great field position. As you pointed out, not in this case. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Here's Wilson. To the right side, and he's got more complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football, and right now I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll go again with Carter. And this carry not as productive. He's swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Shotgun snap and a give to Carter. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on fourth. On is the punter man as he boots this one away. And just a 30-yard punt that time. And the Panthers will take over now first and 10. A DJ Moore, the Carolina offense, about to take over once again. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that, man. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A big play there on the catch and run. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Now here's a throw that's complete. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Second and two. They'll look to throw. That caught by Trimble. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 21. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. On any running play that's called, they're always hoping that it's going to break big and go the distance. But when you get a nice game like that, you're able to do so many things anyway. You can come back and run essentially the same play again, continue to move the ball on the ground, or you can decide to throw the ball now because usually you have the defense back on its heels. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. Third down, here's McCaffrey, and he'll take this one down near the 15. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. On the move to his left. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. Brandon, if you're not rooting for the defensive team, that was a fun play to watch. Fourth down, all the throwing lanes are covered, and this guy says, let me do it myself, and shows off scrambling ability that you just can't teach. Flushed out right. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And the Jets are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. 
They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Now, meanwhile, a final play here is incomplete, and that's going to take us to the end of the third quarter of play. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Wilson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. At this point in the game, they've got to continue to try anything they can. They're still working at it, even though this one feels like a lost cause. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well prepared. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good, and the lead is now 24. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And that last pick six may have been the backbreaker as they now face a three-score deficit in the fourth quarter. They need points quickly. Meanwhile, Wilson's throw here going to be caught by Wilson. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there, it's going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. It looks like a loss of right around 11 there on first down to set him back on second. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. And that's on big Makai Becton. First round pick in 2020. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Now it's Wilson. On the throw, let him too much that time. It's incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. Wilson on fourth down. He's going to look deep for more. 
And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. The Jets try it, but the fourth down play doesn't work. And the Panthers are going to get it back in excellent field position. Well, at this stage of the game in the second half, down three scores, I guess they felt like they needed to push. And let's face it, with this deficit, if they give up another score here after they didn't get it, does it really matter? Right. It really doesn't. They had to go and try and make something happen if they had any chance of winning this game. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. He couldn't get rid of it. He takes a sack for a loss of six to bring up second down. You know, on these types of plays, we're always looking to assess blame. Okay, where did it break down? Sometimes it's just a great play. Second and long, sliding out of the pocket. That'll be caught by Anderson. And he'll go Let's out go of bounds go. inside the 15-yard line. Partner, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll set up a throw, eluding the pressure right. They're looking for Higgins, but it is intercepted. Picked off by Bryce Hall. And the Jets are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. Defensively that time, they were in zone coverage. As a rookie QB, what lesson can you learn there? Well, understand this. You saw zone in college, and the defensive backs reacted but they don't react like they do on this level. So when they're in zone and they see the ball coming to them, they'll react at least a half a second faster. You've got to know where you want to go with the ball. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Things are just going from bad to worse now. It's a safety that does him in here, and that is one frustrated offensive unit. They can't get out from under their own shadow right now. I mean, I know this is the NFL, but could you imagine a college crowd right now? Imagine what they'd be doing. <laughs> they'd be chanting, start the bus, because they think this one is over. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Good starting position for the Panthers as they come up first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Now it looks like he'll throw here. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Flush to his right. That ball nearly intercepted, but he could not hang on. Oh, pick there certainly would have been nice. Instead, at least, it'll be fourth down. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. And that one complete to Stephon Sullivan. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. He has really settled in throwing the football, and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion. He may be a rookie, but he's playing like fourth quarter. 
And the cue being is easy. How about this guy? Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT, and that will extend this big lead. The drive summary that time, five plays. And Carolina scores to cap it off. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taken at the 15, a short kick. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget <laughs> today. Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo exactly. going forward. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling no, again. No, you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Uh, defensively, you look at the numbers. Another incomplete pass that we just saw. And they're under 200 yards passing for the game. So they've done their job on that side of the ball. Yeah, recently I was actually working a game where a quarterback had a streak of five straight games without a 200-yard game. And that was a big talk, both in his town and amongst his team. How do we get the passing game going? So big credit to them holding them under 200 today. From the shotgun, Wilson. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. They had to go for it with... little time remaining and the Panthers will get the football back and they will take a knee here so this one is over a victory for Carolina and it was their defense that really made the statement after the break they pitched the second half shutout yeah think about the team that just got vanquished they did score in the second quarter do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.